Welcome back ladies and gentlemen and today is going to be a very interesting topic. We're going to take a look at a different side of aviation. Something that is not very much seen. Much like aircraft maintenance, a very big ghost of the aviation industry. What we're talking about today is repair facilities and overhaul shops. It is a very crucial component when it comes down to getting these airplanes up and running and airworthy. You see, as a line maintenance technician myself, what I see in front of me is very different than what they see. I see the aircraft components on the airplane. When I perform my walk arounds, I take a look at the aircraft itself with the components on it. I make sure there's no discrepancies, no leakage, the basics. You guys already seen the walk around video. But as much as I see these components and replace them when needed, I often think about where do these components actually come from? How do they come in to us all fresh and brand new, refurbished? Well, that's a whole other set of individuals, very skilled and knowing how to, to completely disassemble these things and put them back together. Introducing to you, Eaton Aerospace. They were very kind and gracious enough to invite me to their local facility over here in Glendale, California, where they specialize in refurbishment and remanufacturing parts and components, especially with hydraulic systems for aircraft. But they don't stop there. They are invested in many other things within any kind of technology. Everything from aerospace to electronics. They were very kind enough to invite me once again. And I got to take a look at their amazing facility. And I got to visit all their shops and testing facilities. So without further ado, let's go check out this amazing facility. As I said before, I see parts like this. But on the bench, it's completely different already cleaned and manicured and ready for refurbishment. This facility houses an incredible staff as well as the top-notch equipment. All these components get disassembled and reassembled. Not only that, they also do precise testing and measurements, making sure there's no deterioration of the housing of the components. And if there is, they have the capabilities of refabricating components. So one of the first things I saw was actually the test bench. Once again, I have to give credit to all these amazing workers. They are so smart. They know these components inside and out. I'm just a regular mechanic. All I do is I swap parts. Obviously we do troubleshooting, but when it comes down to the internal of these components, I'm very ignorant. This gentleman right here, he was performing an operational check on a component. I believe this was a metering valve. He was just getting done with the test. He had it set up on a workbench right there, an actual test where it pumps fluid into the unit. It's basically simulating what it would look like on an aircraft, obviously away from the aircraft, but on the aircraft itself. He proceeded to explain to us the parameters that he's testing, the flow rates, the pressure differentials, everything, making sure all the sensors are working. Matter of fact, they even stress test these components. They go beyond the capacity of the components pressure. So for example, if a component were to go up to 3000 PSI, maximum rated, they'll push it to about 6000 PSI. Aircraft such as the A380 and the 787 that have components that go to about 5000 PSI, yep, they'll double that. They'll take it up to about 10,000 PSI. This is the reliability factor. They will test the component to its maximum failure point to make sure that it is a reliable component to be sent out back to the airlines. The equipment here is state of the art. They can interchange the fittings and fit any kind of component, hydraulic component I should say, to test it out. They also have facilities for doing electrical tests as well. Everything is ran back through quality control services. So when the product comes back from the overhaul vendor to the airlines back into my hands, guess what? I'm getting a perfectly brand new component basically. So. It's very, very intricate work. But I'm getting ahead of myself because this is one of the final stages of the component. Prior to this, the component itself actually gets completely disassembled and everything gets measured and everything gets replaced internally. As we moved on further down over there on the line, we saw many other workers performing these duties. Disassembling hydraulic pumps, disassembling filter housings, basically testing everything out. Here's a closer look of that filter housing. Now you're gonna find this comical. I could not tell you what part of the airplane that this came off of. I'm so used to seeing components on the airplane itself, kind of like this right here, that 
when it's off the airplane and on the bench, it's very hard for me to determine which one it is. But these individuals have very detailed CMMs, component maintenance manuals that break down these things and they know the internals inside and out. As I said earlier, majority of these components, hydraulic components, also have electrical components attached to them, such as metering valves or servos, or excuse me, I should say um, solenoids. These things also get refurbished separately. Every single component that's attached to these major components also gets refurbished, tested, and double-checked before they go out into the real world and onto the aircraft. This was pretty cool to see. This I recognized right away. This comes off of a 787 door, or the doors themselves. This is the EPA system. The door assist bottle plus the little actuator right there. So it's pretty cool to see that off the airplane. They were getting refurbished as well. Once again, many other components all over the place. This facility basically does overhaul for Boeing, Airbus, and as well as many military contracts. Here's a lovely little test bench right here. What they do here was refurbish those solenoids I was showing you earlier. A state-of-the-art equipment. Uh, they don't have to worry about torquing anything because the equipment they have, have has a preset torque. So in case they do need to tighten something down, they don't have to second guess on anything. They can just install it into the machine and it has a pre-torque uh, value on it. So every single time, it's the right time. So very, very state-of-the-art equipment and the facility was immaculate, it was just clean, and everything had, was organized very well. One thing to mention that these technicians, they are not licensed technicians. They don't have an AMP license. So if you're thinking about getting into the aviation industry and would like to get your foot in the door, this kind of facility is absolutely perfect. It'll expose you to what aircraft parts and how aircraft work, especially from the component side of it. They had a cleaning vat right here and this lovely gentleman over here was showing me how he works the machine. Basically, it just takes the components that he needs to clean and they dunk it into various vats. Again, I am not knowledgeable on how exactly this work works, so I have to read upon it myself, but it was very interesting to watch. All the people there that were showing me around, they're incredibly kind people. Everybody explained everything that they were doing. Up next, we got to see a landing gear actuator, or actually the steering mechanism for a uh, Gulfstream 650, I believe they told me. This was really awesome to see. Uh, the unit itself was hooked up to full pressure. It was getting pushed almost to 3000 PSI and they were running through various parameters as well. They're double checking all the proximity sensors, making sure the actuator is doing what it's supposed to do. And I asked the gentleman, how many times is he actually gonna run this test? He goes, he cycles it for about 225 times, if not more. That was quite incredible. I have never seen testing like this before in my life. So for me to see something like this was quite miraculous. Uh, just to know how much effort and diligence it takes and how much stress testing they put these components through. It's no wonder that aircraft components cost so much and are very reliable. This is why cost of aviation is high, but the reliability factor is the saving point. You know, I'd rather pay more for a safe product and a good product than have something, you know, not be all the way 100%. Another interesting thing in this facility was that if some components are completely damaged to a certain degree that they cannot refurbish them, Guess what? They have a CNC machine. They can refabricate parts. That was a nose landing gear component from a G650, I believe. And that came off of a solid block of aluminum or steel, whichever it is, I, I forgot. But uh, yeah, they can, they can refabricate their own parts. Not only that, they have skilled technicians, very smart individuals that know exactly precision. So they have their own machine shop, milling equipment they can basically recreate anything they want knowledge like this and experience like this is very few in between so i hope more people get into this kind of field and start learning how to do this job because it's a dying art trust me uh, i wish more people were interested with working with their hands instead of sitting down and playing on computers uh, it, this is a important job 
and important people are needed to want to do this job. Here's another good example. This is a nose landing or actuator. I'm not sure what aircraft this came off of, but the gentleman was showing me how he disassembled it. So there you go. That's what inside of a uh, shock strut looks like. Pretty cool, right? All of this will get cleaned up. Everything will get inspected and it will get put back together with brand new components if there's wear and tear on them. So incredible. The shop was so kind enough to uh, represent a lovely display of before and afters of what they do. There you go. Look at this. Uh, components of before and after of what it used to be and what it is after when they're done refurbishing it. Pretty incredible. The type of work they do here is very meticulous and very, very attention to detail style work. It's not easy, but it's very rewarding. And it gives me a huge appreciation to them. And I also got a chance to speak with all the individuals there. So I'll pause to talk here and you'll hear me speaking. You guys to can ask anything you want. So first and foremost, I want to thank every single one of you. Uh, I really, really appreciate all the hard work you do because you create this you make this better and I'm the end user so when I get this this is what it looks like and it's a pleasure for me to take these kind of clean well refurbished components and install them on these big jets so just a big thank you for me to you you guys do an incredible work and you know I was telling Matt earlier how you know full circle it comes for me because every day on a daily basis I'm walking around looking at components I'm seeing them like this they're all dirty and Sometimes it gets leaks and whatnot. And I see the name, I see the Eaton, I see, but it doesn't really register until I'm here, I'm looking at this. It's, it's amazing, it's, the amount of effort and amount of hard work that goes into to make it like this. So again, a big, big thank you to, guys, to you guys. The aircraft, I'm just amazed that he can jump from the galley into the hydraulics. System. Yeah, we're all, all over the place. He's all over the aircraft, and so it's, it's very informative. I'd recommend that you check it out. Thank you guys. And yeah. again, just uh, it's there for information. It's there for you guys just to learn and to actually see. Because I show it, I show it all. I show what you guys are fixing, all these components, especially with Boeing and Airbus. You'll get to see it and you'll recognize it. We have to know what we're doing. Exactly. Human life depends on us. Absolutely. Absolutely. If Ma something happens, pilot will not say, ladies and gentlemen, put your, uh, put your seat belt, I'm going to pull over. Perfect. <laughs> exactly. No, you guys make it fly. I just want to. As I said, incredible individuals doing incredible work that's never seen. Give thanks to them. Whether I'm changing engine components or changing tires and brakes, now in the back of my mind, I know where it comes from. I have a greater appreciation for the men and women that put in hard work to make these beautiful machines fly. Thank you for watching.